Hey everybody, Steve here, and I wanna share with you how to use slicers in Google Sheets. So we're gonna take a look at that real quick, show you what, what's available now in Google Sheets. All right, so let's begin. The first thing we have is a simple list of data. We've got dates, vendors, amounts, and categories. And I basically would like to slice this up, or i.e. filter it out. So if I just start off, with one of the selected cells and then select data, we're gonna see slicer here. Um, if you don't have one on your end, uh, just be patient as this is rolling out to all the users, um, your, your version will eventually update to include this, okay? So this is the first, first uh, week that I've had it on my end, so um, if you don't see it, you just keep, keep looking for it, okay. So here's, here's our slicer. This is our slicer, and it says select column first here. So over on the right-hand side, we have this slicer panel here, and it just verifies the data range that we have. So from A1 to 189, that's good there. Um, if we need to modify, we could here. Now I'm going to click the drop-down, and we're going to say that we'd like to choose the category. Okay, and so at that point in time, then I can come in here, and I typically would start off by either typing what I'm looking for. So if I start to type rent, for example, it will populate there, which is great. Hit OK. And um, now that I have that, I don't think that worked. Huh? So rent, check, OK. No, it's not taking. It still says all. So I'm going to need to click clear, then click rent. All right. So. That's gonna be it, guys, right there. Perfect, okay. So that is um, a slicer here that could be connected to just a regular data set or a pivot table that you see here for that. Okay, so if I wanted to do vendor, um, I could click on that, this drop down, do another one here. I'd like to start off, click here, and I'm gonna select on report, and okay. Boom, all right, so that is a slicer. The, bit, the main difference between Microsoft Excel slicers, if you've watched my other videos on that, uh, you can actually see the whole list and click on it. So for right now, it looks like just Google Sheets, you have to go inside of the dropdown to do that, to make the selection before you do that. So thanks for watching, guys, and hope you enjoyed it.